we got eight minutes of brand new gameplay from IGN, showing a bunch of stuff we haven't actually seen, such as certain characters, supers, and ultimate attacks. And goddamn, what a time for this to release, because Dragon Ball Sparking Zero was almost going to have a day where there wasn't one piece of news. They almost took a break, but <laughs> it's going to be news every day, like I've always said. So guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and please hit the bell. Otherwise, you might miss the daily Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content shower we are receiving. We have new episode battle stuff as well as new actual battle mode content. We have Android 17 here actually doing his barrier charge. I used uh, towards the end of the tournament power to do some big damage to Jiren. Except this time we're seeing it on Super Vegeta of all characters. Trunks' Super Saiyan animation, which we have seen before, where he goes Super Saiyan Rage and Majin Vegeta's final explosion. Now again, this comes from IGN. Nick is the one providing this gameplay to us. Oh, the Jiren. Okay, that's from the most recent trailer. They're just going over the most recent trailer stuff again, and this is the character roster expanding in size. I think we got nine new characters from that most recent trailer, which is insane, to say the least, and seeing all the graphic updates in it, very, very nice. Don't forget, IGN uh, actually has <laughs> lots of new stuff to show for us, showing how all these different characters' abilities actually change with their forms, or showing how their different moves actually affect different characters entirely. Okay, Mr. Satan. IGN have said that Hercule is actually their favorite, the IGN favorite Hercule. And to be fair, Hercule is a really fun slash funny character. Seeing how he just falls down slowly if he's in the air is just great. Here's Golden Freeze's intro again, and this is all in Spanish, which reminds me that we're gonna actually get more Dragon Ball Sparking Zero gameplay in at, like out of Brazil like uh, convention. They're showing even more like demo stuff. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the newest build and not the Summer Games Fest demo again, because it seems like every demo they've shown has been a new one straight up. So I'm pretty sure what we're going to see in Brazil is also a new one. And man, that Misenko beam curve was so cool. Um, this is Trunks' secondary super attack, and I have said this before. This goes on for way too damn long for what is a super attack. If you get spammed by this in a match, you're just going to be sitting down watching a movie, basically. <laughs> oh, which is really great. There's Hercule slowly falling down, and I love his unique charge, man. He just calls on the crowds to cheer for him, and they actually make like a noise like cheering for him. It's, it's great. I wonder how so many other characters who don't really use key, right? Because again, I'm pretty sure characters like Monaco are going to be in the game, and certain other characters, right? I wonder how they gain energy, per se. Oh, and we're actually getting to see a dash clash. Um, Hercule beats Freeze in a dash clash. Yeah, he just, he, just, he just overpowers him and knocks him back. I think they're hyping up for Hercule's uh, ultimate attack here with the constant charges, and there we go, where he summons Mr. Boo. And, uh, yeah, seeing Frieza's face when he gets punched is great. Keep in mind, Hercule's ultimate still does low damage, um, because he's supposed to use a different buffing skill to make it do, like, real damage. But either way, it's a funny ultimate. Hercule in this game, um, he actually looks like he could actually be quite useful. He was useful in Budokai Tenkaichi 3 as well, though, because he could stall for time, which is literally what he does best. He did in the Buu Saga. Oh, and we're actually getting to see Goku and Raditz Beam Clash. Okay, so we know baller-based projectiles can beam clash now. Is Goku doing a one-handed Kamehameha? Or was that a full-power energy wave? Okay, and the freezer's going golden here. We see the beautiful animation from the Tournament of Power. I am very glad that that became the de facto golden freeze animation because the Resurrection F1 was kind of just a tiny bit lackluster, you know? And, um, oh wait, hold on. Trunks versus DBS Broly, okay. Yeah, Key Blast in this game do real damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, keep in mind, if you reflect, if you reflect key blast, you actually get like way more like blast talk for it. So there's always an advantage, even if your enemy is attacking you. There's always an advantage to it, so long as you play your cards right. Just deflect key blast. Oh, special from cannon. I don't, I don't. Have we seen special from cannon in game? We've only seen it in cutscenes. Okay. Boom. Was that an ultimate or a super attack? I'm actually curious because there was no cinematic. And every other ultimate attack has had a cinematic in this game. I, I want to say that was an ultimate attack. The damage was really high. And here's 17's barrier charge again, so they're just going through all the gameplay, like, actually this time, rather than showing quick teases of it, which means we should see more final explosion, and Trunks' is a final flash, which we have not seen before, um, in full here. The battle damage on the characters is great, oh my god, look how damaged Vegeta's, like, outfit was. And here's Trunks versus Piccolo. Oh, the counter vanish attack is so great. So now Trunks has one blast dog. He can, yeah, he can transform with one blast dog. And I do like, I think it's called skill counter now, to be fair. But with the skill counter, it charges way faster than blast dog from the previous games. And you can see a super attacks on Galico and uh, Resplendor final, which should, you know, I mean, I don't know if that makes it any more obvious that that's final flash, but it has final in the name. So here, here's Trunks' final flash. A very small baby final flash fitting for Vegeta's son. And also fitting for the fact that it was really tiny when he used it against Zamasu too. So there's that going for it. 
And yeah, here's Vegeta's final explosion. We're gonna see this on in full against Majin Buu. Um, and Majin Buu's gonna do the silly face when he gets, you know, knocked back and exploded from it, so that's great. And I love this shot of Vegeta, like, turning his head in this game for it. That's just great. Welcome to Oblivion! Just, oh, Majin Buu, oh, there we go, yeah, <laughs> he ran into it! I love so much that explosions in the game actually do rest in the world, like, they just stay there like an actual explosion, and if you touch the heat, you'll get burnt to a crisp. That is really, really cool. Oh, Blue Gogeta, so he, he did a knockback into Meteor, Explosion, yeah, not fully connected. Knockbacks in this game can be ginormous then because he started the super attack kind of late. And um, and 17 was still flying. He was, he was still going on a trip. Uh, big damage on that Meteor Explosion from Gogeta here. And yeah, here's some of the episode battle modes, um, which is stories. And this story layout with this screen and this uh, like the backgrounds everywhere, it reminds me of the way DBS Broly starts when they're going through the ages of Dragon Ball, like the timeline. And there's like a void showing all of Goku's different events. Um, I'm... I think this game does go all the way up to the Tournament of Power. And DBS Broly should be the extra story since um, the characters are a pre-order bonus. Like you unlock them early for a pre-order bonus, meaning they do come with the base game. They just, you know, you would just unlock them at the very end of the game. So um, there's there's actually benefit in pre-ordering just to get DBS Broly and the rest. If you, for some reason, can't make it through all the story, maybe the story will actually be really hard because based on Senkachi 3, they can make the AI really strong. Oh, and here's base Goku's ultimate attack. Okay, it's the same Kamehameha as Super Saiyan 2 Goku's. Like, the same animation and everything. But he's shooting out of one hand in the Beam Clash here, I think. Like, hold on, when we see... Yeah, he's shooting out of one hand. He charges it up and fires it, but it seems like he just cuts the one hand afterwards. And yeah, he's fatigued. Look at that. I do love the detail of characters getting fatigued if you, like, blow all of their energy away in a clash. Look how long he's tired for. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> If you blow all of your energy away in a beam clash or a struggle clash or a dash clash, any clashes in general. Oh, look how sick that looks. I love the way it tears through the air and it makes like these spirals and spins and wind tunnels like while it like soars through the sky. That's just beautiful, man. This game is really cool. And Teague Freeze's death beam scorched the land from all the way up there, man. Oh, oh my God. This game is, it's really, really pretty. It's just... I, mm, I, I know we say this every time, but I'm wondering how the hell they're going to surpass this when it's time to make the next Dragon Ball game. Man, because, like, Fighters was, like, pretty cool, but it was, like, mostly 2D. And Kakarot was phenomenal, but it was a few cutscenes. This game looks beautiful literally all the time. <laughs> so, it's, like, every super attack, every aura effect, every combo, every cinematic. All of it just looks so goddamn pretty. And I think this is... Uh, the end of the showcase that they're doing here. So I think this is also going to be a good place to end the video, guys. I do hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you enjoy the video, then obviously, again, please leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe as it greatly supports the channel. And don't forget to check out IGN because we wouldn't have had, again, everyone knows who IGN is. Please go check them out. I wouldn't have been able to show this to you if it wasn't for them. So yeah, that'll be it. I do love you all. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all next time, fellas. Take care and uh, peace.